Yo guys, Haku here with my review of One Piece episode 729 of the anime, and it was supposed to happen last weekend, but Korean Missile launched, so it got delayed a week, and um, from what I've seen on other YouTubers videos, I don't know if I'm going to get a lot of like for saying what I say about this episode, or a lot of hate for it, because I am going to be saying some pretty, uh, some pretty rough things about this episode, because a lot of it was pretty damn rough. So my first thought, and it was almost kind of unrelated to the episode itself, was I really wish we got One Piece, um, One Piece openings more often, new ones, because I really, this is, the one we currently have, Hard Knock Days, is one of my more favorite ones, but it's really getting old, and it's getting to the point where it isn't even fitting in with the story anymore, it's so old, and that happens in One Piece a lot. I don't like openings that spoil the show, but man, there's no hyper mystery because it's all old scenes that we've seen months ago now. And I mean, it's definitely not as bad as the last opening. I really didn't like opening 17. Not as bad as opening 15 either. 15 was the worst thing ever and we had it for forever to where it was just really old and outdated. So um, yeah, with that rant out of the way, um, we had like six minutes of recap. It was ridiculous. It was just, it was too much. Like normally I'm like, One Piece is the kind of series that has to have it to be week to week and have pretty much no filler, but oh, it was just, it was too much. I felt it was too much this week. And even especially there were a week, there were a couple of weeks recently where I've said that the, um, a couple weeks where I thought that the recap wasn't bad. I thought the recap was actually really good. It was like throwing the best parts together, but this week's recap was just, it felt so unnecessary. Just felt really unnecessary. One thing that I'm going to bring up before I even break down specific parts was that the animation in this episode kept jumping back and forth from like really detailed to really, really shit. Like really bad. Like it kept going from good to terrible to good again, and it was very odd. Like, I thought it, the part where Luffy was trying to stand up and kept collapsing looked nice, and when Doflamingo was healing himself, it looked nice. But then we had a lot of just still frames, just still frames on the screen with just the camera shaking a little, and it was a bit ridiculous. Like, there was too much of the reused animations and still frames. Also gonna throw in that the citizens suck in Dressrosa. The citizens in Dressrosa are the most annoying citizens in all of One Piece. And I mean, I know another, like, I know other places had really annoying citizens, like, say, I think, I thought Skypea's citizens were pretty annoying and Fishman Islands were terrible, but Dressrosa's citizens are the worst of them all. They're just, they're so bad. In the pacing in this episode, again, this is like, probably one of my favorite anime and I'm gonna be tearing it apart because the pacing was so bad. Especially the first half. The pacing was terrible and even the second half the pacing was very bad. So I'm gonna be saying, I'm just gonna be saying my honest truthful opinion on what I think is a great anime that had a really bad episode. So the uh, the D-list gladiators return to try to hold off Dofi, and we know that they're going to ta get taken out in like a second. Nobody thinks they're going to do anything. But um, I thought it was funny. One of them was like, don't worry, 10 minutes will fly by in a flash. And as soon as he said that, I like said to the screen, I was like, liar, you are lying. This 10 minutes is going to take us like a month or two months to get through, I will guarantee it. Like, not even spoilers, I'm just guessing that it's going to take us forever to get through just this little 10 minutes. So then we get Burgess showing up, and we get Sabo coming out of nowhere to stop him, and it was really cool, but I will say again, the animation was very odd. It kept, like, it would have like two, three seconds where the animation was super high quality, then like five to eight seconds where it was just still frames or very jumpy and very just bad looking. There was some very bad animation with Sabo and Burgess, especially when Sabo, Sabo has the really cool attack and the attack looked really nice and it hits Burgess in the chest and Burgess flies backwards and it's just like a still PNG image of Burgess flying backwards towards a building. It, it was so bad. It was, 
the animation just, it would look really nice and then really very bad. I don't know what Toei was doing this episode. This was like, okay, it's not nearly as bad as Dragon Ball Super. I'm not going to insult it like that. But it was, it was bad. It was bad, guys. Like, I don't know what they were thinking. I don't. And the music for this episode was okay. I can't say it was good, especially not like, I think it was last episode, I really loved the music. In this episode, the music was very, the best way I can describe it is meh, because it it just wasn't good, but it wasn't bad. It was just kind of there. It was, it was kind of odd choices, too, in my opinion. The Sabo theme, I'm not much very into. And I may get some hate for this, because a lot of people love him, but Sabo is a character, also, I don't really feel much for. I feel he's a bit superfluous. We never really needed him to survive that little shot from um, the Celestial Dragon. I'll probably get some hate for saying that, but I don't feel much for Sabo as a character. And so I wasn't extremely hyped for the fight. And it's a good thing I wasn't extremely hyped for the fight because we got maybe, what, a minute and a half of him fighting Burgess? Like, and then a lot of him and Burgess were just Burgess sitting on the ground one foot in front one foot in front of him and they were just talking and I'm like this is an oddly friendly looking conversation you're just standing a foot apart and talking to be like a life or death situation so it was very odd again it was very just not very well choreographed I guess I would say about that part also the best part of this episode was a flashback of things we've already seen just cut straight from other episodes which was the Ace and Blackbeard flashback and a flashback of Sabo and using the um, he can for the first time. So um, those were good. Those were good. But they are just cut and paste flashbacks from other episodes. So I can't really give them credits for them looking good because they just <laughs> it's like it's like they just cut and pasted something from another one of their episodes to be like, yeah, this is what we can do. And they just slapped it in this episode that isn't very good without it. Now, the sound effects for Sabo jumping, I thought were horrendous. Just, they were terrible. Like, the sound effects for the rest of the episode were perfectly fine. They were great. But for some reason, when Sabo jumped, they had this terrible, just, slide whistle noise. Like, wh why would they think that would make sense? I don't understand. And I feel terrible hating on One Piece because I love the anime, but... That was so bad. I don't I don't know what they were thinking with the animation this episode, with the pacing, with the sound effects. It was just not good. Well, Toei, clean this up. <laughs> clean it up, Toei. And I don't even know what to think of next episode either because we see from the preview it's going to just be a birdcage pushing episode. So that's going to be, again, pretty, uh, pretty rough probably. I just hope it can be better than this episode. I don't know what's going on right now. It's like we went from a very good time to to a real slump right here. Also, getting into the ending, I saw some people saying it was really good looking. And in comparison to the rest of the episode, it was very good looking. But in comparison to Dofi at the very beginning or Dofi last episode, it, it didn't look very detailed. And the one part I really could not stand about the end with Dofi, and he's like my favorite character in One Piece, and I still could not stand that scene that a bunch of other people liked because I was like, why are the tips of his little thread things purple, and why do they have little scrunchy things like at the tips of them? And then I finally realized, oh, he had stabbed through, so he had impaled people with string, which would have been really freaking cool to see, like, he took out all these gladiators and he had them impaled on the strings. But because of the weird censorship where they made the blood and the pe the bodies just like purple silhouettes, it just, it looked so bad. Like, why? It was terrible censorship. It was censorship that didn't need to be there if they were going to do that. And it it almost made it so I didn't even know what was happening in the scene. It took me like till the end of the scene to realize oh those are bodies that's blood because it was just purple silhouette it was it was not good unless everybody bleeds purple and turns into purple silhouettes when they die in one piece then it was not good and from what we've seen of people dying in one piece we know that's not the case and so i can say it was not good 
So in the end, I've got to say that the animation was half-assed. The sound effects and the soundtrack were both not terrible, but pretty bad. Especially the Sabo jumping sound effect. That was pretty... that was horrible. I don't even know what made them think that it would be a good idea to use that sound effect. It wasn't good. And then the only important plot point... we didn't really get much plot out of this episode. The only very important plot point, other than knowing Luffy has a 10 minute recharge on his hockey, which we knew from last episode that he had some sort of drawback. So 10 minute recharge, we found that out. But another thing that I thought was the most important plot point was finding out from what Sabo said that uh, Burgess was hunting devil fruits. And even then, it doesn't look like that's going to play a very big role soon. So I mean, even the one plot point was not a huge plot point. And this episode was just it was maybe one of the worst episodes of one of my favorite anime. I gotta say, I didn't like it. So in the end, I'm gonna give it 4.5 Dragon Claws out of 10. Not 4.5 out of 5. 4.5 out of 10 Dragon Claws. I, and thinking there, I almost said 4.5 4 minutes of flashback out of 10. Because uh, that's what this episode felt like. Every 10 minutes we got was like four and a half of flashback or recap and not not good overall not a good episode didn't like it hopefully episode hopefully next week's episode can get one piece back on track because i've been really enjoy i've really enjoyed the majority of the dress rosa arc there were only a couple parts here and there that i thought were bad like the um bartolomeo and cavendish stuff against gladius there were only a couple parts like that that i thought were bad and this was one of those parts and I honestly think this may have been the worst episode in Dress Rosa. May get some hate for saying that, especially since the early episodes were pretty slow, especially with the Viola and Sanji stuff. But this was the worst in my opinion. Didn't like it at freaking all. So 4.5 out of 10, I've rambled long enough. Like if you guys liked it or anything. And I mean, if you disagree, people are allowed to have differing opinions. I know I just, re like right before I filmed this, I watched Roger's Bases and he really liked it. And I'm fine with him really liking it. People have different opinions. And the reasons he liked it were all perfectly fine for him. I mean, the reasons you like it are fine for you. The reasons you hate it are fine for you. And I just really didn't like it personally. So, yeah. Like if you enjoyed the video in any way. Subscribe if you want more One Piece. Because I do at least three videos a week. I also do Tower of God and The Walking Dead. And two anime reviews every week. So I thank you guys so very much for watching. Follow on Twitter for updates, and I will see you all next time.